and welcome to WXYZ.com. U.S. Senator Gary Peters, our guest today. Uh, Senator, big Democratic presidential debate tonight in Las Vegas. Um, first of all, do you have a dog in this race? <laughs> well, I've, I've endorsed Hillary Clinton, so, uh, so I'm supporting her for president. I think she's going to make a great president. Uh, but I also think it's great we're going to have a very uh, energetic debate tonight. All right. A lot of people say that this is Hillary Clinton's campaign to lose. you agree with that? Uh, well, I, th I think she, uh, she, whenever you're in a campaign, you've always got to run uh, as if you're 10 points behind and scared and, and work hard, so she needs to be focused on that. I always get nervous when people say that uh, it's one candidate's uh, race uh, to lose. Uh, I never go into campaigns like that. I think, that, you know, the, the old saying is you, you uh, either run scared or run unopposed, and, and she's not unopposed, so she should be running, uh, running hard. What does she need to do tonight to be able to come out of this debate as the continued front runner? I think she just has to continue to look strong, uh, have a command of the issues, and, and probably more importantly, make sure that she's focusing on the issues that, that people really care about. And I, and I think that's probably what we're going to uh, hope we're going to see uh, different in a Democratic debate. And I watch uh, the Republican debates. There's a lot of name calling and attacks you on think candidates. think there's going to be name calling tonight? I, I hope not. Uh, and I hope that it what, what uh, and I don't expect to see that. And I hope we don't. I hope it's just a focus on issues that people care about. Yeah. Um, she's got some opponents that she's going to have to face this evening. Of the opponents, who scares you the most? Uh, well, I, I, I don't, uh, I'm not going to get into uh, to that. I just, I think she has a great message. She just has to articulate that, make sure that she's connecting uh, with folks, uh, with the vision that she has uh, for the country. Uh, if, if you're running a, a, a solid campaign, I think she, and she will be able to run a solid campaign is that you're not thinking about uh, your opponents. You can't be looking over your shoulder. You gotta be true to who you are. You gotta be authentic and you've gotta be able to connect with the American people and, and let them know that uh, you will be in command and that you have a vision and you're gonna be able to implement that vision. There'll be five of them on stage. Let me ask this a slightly different way. Um, is it good that there is a debate this evening between the Democratic candidate and whether you're for Hillary Clinton or not, and clearly right. you are, right. um, what does that do having the five up there, uh, having to go toe to toe? Well, I think it's, uh, it's very healthy to have debates. It's very healthy to have a primary. Certainly with all the attention that's on the Republican side, uh, there needs to be attention on the Democratic side as well. And as you're debating issues and refining issues, uh, that's good for all the candidates. Uh, it uh, keeps them uh, in the spotlight. Uh, it keeps them talking about things that are important. It keeps bringing attention to the message in which they're trying to, to, uh, to get out. Uh, and it's healthy for the Democratic Party. We should have a variety of ideas that we debate and that we are robust in that debate and then come together with a candidate uh, who will be the eventual nominee. So uh, I don't see that as a negative. I actually see it as a positive. Yeah, as you look across the fence on the GOP side, uh, your thoughts, uh, they have more candidates in the race. They've got to weed themselves out. Um, but uh, certainly a lot of attention on Donald Trump and Ben Carson and some of the others. Uh, as a Democrat, and I know you're a solid uh, uh, blue Democrat, uh, any particular thoughts? I'd, I'd just say uh, let them keep, uh, keep ha uh, fighting it out, and uh, we'll see who the eventual uh, uh, nominee is. Yeah. Uh, if there's a particular problem for Hillary Clinton, it is having to stay on top for such a long period of time. You know presidential campaigns are marathons. Mm -hmm. Does that worry you at all that she's got to go all the way till next November in the front-running position? Well, it, uh, it is always uh, difficult to, 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 uh, to constantly be on and uh, pushing forward. I think she's going to do that. It'll be fine. But uh, there's no question uh, that she has to keep the momentum going. And uh, when you're in a 24-7 news cycle and folks always uh, looking for some angle, uh, that's, uh, that's a challenge. But I know she's up to the task. All right, let's turn to something a little lighter. Uh, big game this week. Yes. Uh, you have a master's degree from Michigan State University in philosophy, um, but you also have a daughter who's at the University of Michigan. That's and right. That's where your dollars are going right now. Who are you rooting for? <laughs> yeah, that's why I say, my, well, my heart's in Michigan State. I'm, I'm rooting for Michigan State. Michigan. Well, my money's in Ann Arbor right now, so I, I have it all covered. But I also want to be clear that, that I, always, I always root for Michigan except when they play Michigan State. <laughs> Is that right? That's right. <laughs> All right, and uh, any predictions you want to make? I think it's going to be a real, uh, real good game. Uh, you know, I've, uh, I've watched uh, Michigan. I think they are a lot stronger than folks uh, had anticipated at the beginning of the season. Uh, they're playing extremely well. Uh, Michigan State, I think, needs to, and I'm a, a diehard fan, but they need to step up their game in order to, uh, to win 
So it's going to be a it's going to be a, a great game. Uh, as as a Spartan fan, are you a little worried? Uh, your <laughs> team just dropped in the polls, I think, uh, from yeah. uh, four to seven, uh, and it was a pretty lackluster performance last week. Yeah. Uh, but I've talked to another Michigan State fan here that works at station. He said he loves the position that Michigan State's in right now as the underdog. Oh yeah. Are you feeling the same way? Yeah, I, I always think it's uh, better. And the one thing about what I love about uh, college football is that emotion plays such an important aspect. The pros, uh, it's the aspect, but not so much. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're, and, they're and if we talk about the Lions and the pros, we don't even want to have that conversation <laughs> yeah. right yeah, now. Yeah, I won't, I won't huh. go there. But yeah. but uh, when it comes to college ball, you know, the the uh, the athletes and their their mental state going into a game plays such a big role. And so uh, we we know that both teams are going to be up. I mean, this is a, a classic showdown. You've got teams uh, that are going to be pretty evenly matched. Uh, the emotion is going to be very high. So I'm expecting Michigan State to, to play to the level that I know they're capable of playing. I'm expecting them to play extremely strong, and uh, I'm going to root for them to win. I think they're going to win, but it's going to be a great game. All right. Nice thing about it is that we've got a great state, in-state rivalry here, and right. the state of Michigan wins as a whole. Right. All right. Senator, thank you, thank, thank you, you so thank much you, for coming thank in. It's you. always a pleasure. pleasure talking with you, and uh, we'll check back with you after Saturday and see what happens. <laughs> WXYZ.com, I'm Chuck Stokes with Senator Gary Peters.